Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Simplest Gaming and today we are playing Long Gone Days, well the demo of it anyway. It is currently out on Steam and according to the Steam page, it is a two day modern day character driven RPG that combines elements of from visual novels, shooters and dystopian fiction. Sounds fancy. Let's get in there and have a look shall we? The usual disclaimer. Common knowledge. What is common knowledge? Oh, it's very anime-ish. From the day I was born, it was decided I'd be a sniper. I'm loving the artwork already. I'm a big anime fan. As soon as I could talk and understand orders, my training started. It was time for every single one of my brothers. Or so I thought. Because of this, I grew up believing that the things that were taught to me at the Corps Army were things everyone knew about. But who gets to decide what is important to know? As I was growing up knowing everything about things like history or even how a family usually functions seemed like a complete waste of time. Meanwhile, learning how to control my breath and how to move my fingers accurately were far more important. I am loving this already! When you have been spoon fed with limited choices your whole life, you don't really question the stuff given to you, you just assume it's normal. Well, normal is perspective. But what use are those things I was taught during the past 22 years if I was ever taken away from the battlefield? If it wasn't for the events in the past few days, I would have never questioned any of these things. Well, it's always good to question. Service Academy, inside the core. Alright, let's continue. First thing you should remember when you cross the border is that you'll be within Russian... Really? Russia? Even though it's separated from the mainland. Normally I teach you a thing or two about speaking with the locals, but in this particular operation any kind of communication with outsiders is strictly forbidden. Do not even tell them the name of your dog tags, is that clear? Tomorrow I'll be set in deployment for the first time. I wasn't supposed to go, but their previous sniper broke his up. Convenient. And I was transferred to this squad as a last minute replacement. You should also note that it is currently summer in the Northern Hemisphere. No, it's not. I got snow outside. Those of you who have already been deployed at least once will appreciate the fact that summer's in Kaliningrad range from 55 Fahrenheit to 73 Fahrenheit. But it still rains just as often in any other season. As you'll be representing the Polish army, a zero tolerance policy towards misconduct will be in order. Is that clear? I wish I had more time to repair. I'm not sure I'll be able to do a good job like this. Private Rock! Yes, sir. You can find the briefing with the rest of your notes. If you have any doubts, just ask someone in your squad. Thank you, sir! Okay, that's all for me. We are counting on you, soldiers. You are dismissed. Information about the core and the operation Pregola have been added to Rock's notes. You can access the notes tab from the menu. I don't want to go back there. Let's continue exploring. Boom! Man, good luck replacing Kyle. That guy could shoot a pin from miles away. I'm fairly competent. You sound like... 
Oh, whiny little shite bag. Barracks. Ooh, showers. This is the greenhouse. Most of your food grows there. I'm gonna guess that we go in here. Oh, oh! We to shoot shit. Hey, rock. Sorry, who are you? Some kind of joke. Notice you're about to train with the basic targets. Why don't you activate the advanced ones? To be honest, I don't remember how to use them. Really, just enter your ID on the console and select advanced mode. It's pretty straightforward. Since you're this forgetful, remember they won't attack you. By the way, you should try these boards. Ooh, incendiary. Okay, thanks. Assuming you have multiple shots you can aim at, and every spot has different stats. These stats can be changed during target selection. Certain spots, like the head or body, will instantly end the fight. The hit points reach zero, while aiming other spots can even advantage in battle, like lowering the enemy's evasion. To use any kind of special ball access skills menu. The icon next to each skill represents the cost. The first number is how many items you need, and the second number represents how many you have. Skills! Incendiary Shot. Oh my god, we have vats. What? Are you shitting me? Fucking shoot you in the leg then. Excuse me? Okay, shoot you in the gut. Yeah! Now I'm gonna shoot you in the head. Or not. Oh, well, we killed him. Ah, uh, those bullets, great! Anyway, I gotta go now. I'll be giving you instruction remotely tomorrow. So she's our spotter. So now we got to go take the Sashawa, which was uh, there. Take a shower. Hmm, that's my squad's medic. He should be able to give me some info about the operation. Uh, I believe his name was Ada. Maybe we just call him medic or something. <laughs> medic? Uh, you haven't to be deployed before, have you? No, it's gonna be my first time! See, way to come! Well, I've been waiting for this day for years. I've never seen any of the sun before. Try not to stare at too much unless you want to go blind. Try not to do other things too much for it unless you want to go blind. You don't know a thing about the surface, do you? I won't get my hopes up for you. The surface is an awful place. Yes, it is. Uh, would you lighten up a little? It's not time to relax. Wow, what obnoxious... I was actually just thinking that. <laughs> he needs to be fragged. 
Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, poor oh, little soldier boy. It's got the platform. It's at the core. <coughs> More than 15 hours have passed already. For the first time I'm sitting on the platform that connects me to the surface. This thing has been shaking the whole time. It makes an ominous noise that won't let me sleep. The guys look wiped to say the least. To be honest, I'm not feeling too well either. I haven't eaten anything during the whole ride, but I guess that's because they expected us to fall asleep. I'm already in a cranky mood. Make things worse, I'm sitting next to this guy. Is it Ada? It is too. It's the obnoxious little prick. Hey! She's trying to get some sleep! Shut the fuck up. You know what? I'm too tired to pretend to be polite. Screw this guy! Didn't you say this wasn't time to relax, you little prick bag? Oh, oh yeah. You just got bitch slapped. <laughs> what? You still mad about that thing I told you yesterday? You know, right now is not the time to. No, no, it's okay. I appreciate your honesty. My honesty is you need to be butt fucked with a cactus. I guess I was wrong. Is that sarcasm or what? It's nothing like that. People are always kissing my ass if, as if I would take care of them. If, as if I wouldn't take care of them if they pissed me off. But let me save you the trouble. I'm a professional. I don't mix feelings with my job. Being my friend doesn't mean that I'll take care of you first. In other words, I'm gonna let your bitch ass bleed out. So tell me, weren't you trying? Weren't you trying to do the same thing yesterday? I tried talking to you because I don't know anyone in the squad. I couldn't care less that you haven't been a medic. Is that that? Oh. Oh. He doesn't seem too happy. Well, uh, well, I'm glad you're not cynical like the others. Man, I got news for you, bitch! Uh, if you're still willing to listen to me, there are a couple of things I want to tell you about the surface since you were transferred so suddenly. <coughs> Guessing you haven't been properly introduced. I just got the briefing today, so take ass! Really? Well, you seem so curious about the sun that I thought I should warn you a little. The sun is hot. Don't look into it. Make sure you wear plenty of sunscreen, especially if you're a ginger. To be honest, I don't really know if the sun could leave you blind, but what I do know is that it burns. Burns like the fires of hell. No, I don't really. Only if you're in Australia. Burns like pouring alcohol in an open wound. Can even touch your screen. It's quite fascinating. Wow, this guy's still talking. It's been like five minutes already. Actually, it's been like a minute and a half. Yeah, so based on that, I wouldn't even try to look at it too much. Sounds to me like the surface was awfully designed. Well, it certainly wasn't designed for us. Whoa, 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 what was that? <laughs> we finally arrive, or uh, even the lights went out. We have arrived. Everyone, get ready. We're opening the hatch. As soon as the door separated us from the outside world, opened a strong and musty odor filled my lungs. Must be an elaborate. My uniform got all damp and it got glued to my body as if a vacuum was sucking out the remaining air inside. Surface is gross! Oh my god.
Ravens are using saving points to interact with them to save your progress. Did it. Did it. Is there a run button? I don't know. Save your progress. File one. Okay, I think we're going to leave this one, ladies and gentlemen. Probably going to make a series out of the demo. And probably once it drops, I will be making a full playthrough. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen, and make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Drop me a comment. Say hi, say bye, say you suck, say whatever you want. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. Have a good one.